Our Lord went on to say in verse 36, "...if the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed." And this is a very wonderful statement, by the way. I asked a hippie-type fellow up in the San Francisco Bay Area, and by the way, a group of them up there listened to our tapes and our program. And this fellow told me, in fact, I asked him why he dressed as he did. He said, well, he wanted to show he's free. And I said to him, suppose you took off your garments that you're wearing and you put back on the regular garments that the average person wears, would you be accepted in your group? He said, no, I wouldn't. Well, I said, then you're not free, are you? You have to conform to your group. I said, if you really want to know what freedom is in this world where Jesus Christ is rejected, you can come to him and accept him, and he'll make you free, deliver you from sin, from the penalty of sin, and actually the power of sin, and someday the presence of sin. Now he says, I know that you're Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me, because my word hath no place in you. I speak that which I have seen with my father, and you do that which you've seen with your father. Now they claim Abraham is our father. We're Abraham's children. But he says, why are you seeking to kill me? And they said, why, something must be wrong with you. We're not seeking to kill you. And they were plotting at the very time. Now he says in verse 44, ye are of your father the devil. And the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there's no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Now, this ought to answer the question about the universal fatherhood of God and the universal brotherhood of man. Now, when anyone says today that Jesus taught the universal fatherhood of God. Apparently, he didn't, because he said of these religious rulers that you are of your father the devil. And apparently, they weren't children of God. And there are quite a few today. I believe that this doctrine of the universal fatherhood of God, universal brotherhood of man, has got us into a lot of trouble, even as a nation today. We sit down at a conference table with probably children of the devil and we call them children of God. And we've been taken in all over the world today as a nation. And we're supposed to have such wise diplomats. But after all, they're smart politicians. But they just simply are working on the wrong premise. And the Bible does not teach the universal fatherhood of God and the universal brotherhood of man. There are some that are children of the devil. And you only become a son of God through faith in Jesus Christ. Now, I tell you, this really antagonized these, and what I've just said will antagonize a lot of folk because they don't like that today. They like to think we're all nice, sweet brothers, and we have all this lovey-dovey stuff going on today. My friend, if you're standing for the truth today, you're going to do what the Lord Jesus did here. You'll denounce that which is evil and that which is wrong and that which is error. That's exactly what he's doing. Now, they even accuse him. They say, Thou art a Samaritan and hast a demon. Jesus answered, I have not a demon, but I honor my Father, and ye do dishonor him. And I seek not mine own glory. There is one that seeketh and judgeth. Verily I say unto you, if a man keep my saying, he shall never see death. 